still ahead, a new day and a new adventure, and we've got a few surprises of our own coming up. Tom wears ladies G-string thong underpants. When How to Live on Tour continues. Golf clubs. In a moment, I'd like to show you the inside of my bus, and we can all enjoy it. Excuse me now while I take care of some last minute business. Thank you. So one of the most important things in our rider is toilet tissue. Thumbs is nice to have. Oreo cookies, peanut butter. We get, we get peanut butter and jelly every <laughs> single show. Tequila, cup of noodles, a lot of beef jerky. I don't care about food, I eat anything. I think Bud Light and water. Booze, water, food. That's about it. Then we got pineapple and uh, ginger root. Everything else goes, goes to waste. Now by the end of the tour we got like 4,000 cans of tuna, 100 jars of peanut butter. We, ask, we get all this food and we don't eat any of it. That's what it takes to get those guys to show up for work. With Green Day and Blink-182, life on the road is all about the job. These guys take their touring very, very seriously. In just a few hours I will be embarking on not only a journey, it will be my destiny to rock the kids across the United States of America. Hi, is your mom here to pack for you, honey? How many days may we go? 62? Yeah, I'm not packed. I got laundry to do. I like to wash my underwear uh, pair by pair with um, rose petals. Tom wears ladies G-string thong underpants. You can pack 60 of those in a little case like this big. Books. 900 hours of music. It's Xbox, they sent us uh, a video game to go on for. My man purse. Got my DVDs, CDs, and video games. You never know what you're gonna need. I think today in Target we're gonna need to get some underwear, some toothpaste, and what other things, I don't know. Gotta bring soap, cause uh, you know, you don't wanna use hotel soap, it's so sick. Toothbrush, toothpaste. Shaving cream, ladies deodorant in case I want to feel saucy, little aftershave stuff. That's how you pack for tour. Spending nearly half their lives on tour, these guys have learned to bring along all the necessary comforts of home. I play guitar all the time, I like guitars, CD. VCR, DVD, satellite, surround sound stereo. We got another flat screen TV back here. Penis expander. Penis expander. What's an expander that widens it? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's damn, it's not like a lengthener, it's an expander. It's more volume and density. It's like a... It's, it's like an food cake. These road warriors know touring's hidden little secret. Working the night shift leaves your days wide open. We come into a city and, and uh, you know, Mark likes to take off and, and uh, go to bookstores and pick up some, some books. Usually jam. You know, that's one thing that we do every day is just, you know, we're actually in our jam room right now. We get a little warm-up room, we put our, you know, kind of just some small, tiny little amps and, and stuff and get in here. And we have jams, you know, we'll bring everything from ourselves to horn players. Everybody's always invited to just come in and grab an instrument, even if they don't know how to play it, and just get in on a really cool jam, and it'll, that could last a matter of hours. Here's our Pop Disaster Tour rider. A rider is the do's and don'ts of what the promoter can and can't do for our lights, our sound, what we want to eat, where we want to eat, where we load in our buses. And look how thick it is. While rock stars have a reputation for making outrageous demands, the Pop Disaster Posse prefer the simpler things. Donuts. I gotta get the little packages of donuts. I have to eat food that comes out of a package. I eat a lot of chips and a lot of peanut butter and jelly. I'm on the peanut butter and jelly diet because it's the easiest thing to get. To get. Want to know how good my sandwich is? Check it out. Good. While adjusting to food can easily be done, waking up in a different bed 200 days a year is one habit all these artists would like to break. That'll keep you regular. Some people do a cigarette in the morning. Some people do hotel coffee. I choose the latter. We're just gonna go basically have band practice on stage. Check out some stuff that blows up. That's it, pretty much.
should learn our songs before we try and play them. All right, cool. what takes place on the stage. Behind the curtains and dressing room walls looms a whole other universe. There's some guys out here in a band called Cut You Up that have been on the, the entire tour with us and <clears throat> they're usually the epicenter of entertainment and uh, provide a lot and take a lot of abuse. One of the guys in Cut You Up got branded on his ass. For real. Getting him with the hot poker. That was uh, <clears throat> entertaining for most of us, except the victim, who's alive and well today. We're backstage in our illustrious dressing room here in Bakersfield. They have a chair that you can fall down. You can sit here and you can masturbate in the shower and not fall down. For the gentleman, $2 model. There you have it, the ins and outs of life on tour. These artists have all made the road their home for one very important reason to take the stage and give back to the fans. Keep on trucking.